up here at Maple Motors. Today, we're actually walking around a 2009 Suburban. We have this on the lot for sale, so I figured I'd go ahead and crank this video out. It's one of the last uh, few cars of last week. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be pushing out a, a Bel Air and a 65 Corvette. And then we got about seven or eight new cars for next week. But since we have a Suburban for sale, I might as well do a video. If somebody's interested in this, you'll know everything about it too. We've been using this truck uh, just around the lot, take the family out to eat, doing stuff like that. If we're taking the business trips, it's been very reliable. It's got uh, the Vortec 5.3. nice and clean under the hood pretty clean on the outside you know it's got your typical stuff with the new model cars where you got the faded headlights there's a few scratches on the front bumper a lot of little chips from the road some aggressive tires they're fairly new set of Bridgestones on the Chevy wheels I think even one night my wife drove this. She loved it so much, but I already got her a Tahoe, so I said, you're keeping your truck. But we're gonna go around this, check everything out. I've got a close to 100 detailed pictures on my website, maplemotors.com. Want you to check that out. Got finance options available. We'll go ahead and uh, start up here in the front. Any chip scratches, anything that I see on this truck, you will know about. No major dents, anything like that. Uh, the paint's in pretty good shape. Even the roof's nice and clean. A few little scratches on the back here, cracks in the bumper, some chips from the road down there. Back's looking pretty good, same kind of stuff. A little scratch along the back there. Coming down this side. Same kind of stuff. There's a dent right here, real small. I mean, real small. Some chips from that tire. Kicking up the rocks. I think the worst part on the whole vehicle is right here in the front. Hood's in great shape. I just went ahead and had it open so I'm not flip, flipping the camera around. It does have some little chips here and there. go ahead and check the interior out it is leather this is the LTZ version and I'm gonna cut this on so this dinging goes away LTZ version it's got all the heated seats all the good stuff that's one of our bikes we sold look at him <laughs> The seat's definitely showing some signs of wear. Of course, it has over 200,000 miles. Let's see how many miles are on it, actually. It says hood open. Tire monitor system. Probably don't have the sensors inside the tires. 224,000 miles on this one. AC's blowing nice and cold right now. 
All the gauges are coming up. Oil pressure's at 40, engine temp's at 200. All the gauges work on this. Horn works, windshield wipers work, everything works. Radio jams. I had to fix my The little cosmetic stuff is basically the only thing wrong with this truck. See, they left some of their stuff in there. I don't know how that opens. Oh, there we go. Your glove box. The dash is in pretty good shape. There is, looks like some spots popping up right here. All the windows go up and down good. Uh, light tent, sunroof, TV, bucket seats in the back which I love. I think that's what my wife, my wife wanted for hers. But she just got her Tahoe and she can keep it. So, another seat in the back, extra space. Go ahead and open the back door. It opens by itself. There's a button to close it by itself. See, it's all nice and clean. Been taken care of. Everybody's out playing today. You can tell it's Friday. Motor's nice and quiet. We'll go ahead and give you some undercarriage shots. I do got close to 100 photos on my website, maplemotors.com. We're gonna start up here in the front. Going on over to the driver's door. Let's head to the rear. And to the passenger side here. All right, guys, instead of doing a test drive video, I'm gonna make it all in one video on this truck. We're gonna go ahead and take off down the road. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Yeah, we're gonna take off down the road. Just do a simple, quick test drive. This thing runs and drives great, so no need for all that extracurricular shots from all the muscle cars kick down's hooked up on this one yeah this is a nice smooth ride we're going straight down the road i mean it's tight it's ready to go all the gauges work not having any issues so Hit 
the back road back here. Still gonna do our same loop. Just kind of moving you around the car, you know? When you see different angles. And... Turn signals are working. Everything's nice and smooth. That's what you get when the car is only about 10 years old. Boy, this 09 should be 11. That's actually the year I graduated. Probably be a pretty simple video here. We could probably go ahead and end it. Just giving you a good idea that it is a good running and driving truck. We take it downtown all the time. Just use it to run around in because it's reliable. Get on it one more good time down through here. Bring it back down to the lot. We do have some newer model vehicles on our website. Um, I know I got my Hummer on there. The only reason I'm selling it is because I need a truck bed. I got. I want the exact same truck or the exact same setup in a truck. So if you got a four door Chevrolet 2500 with a 6.0 in it and you want a Hummer, I'd be in the market. I may even be in the market for a diesel. I'm gonna pull back into the muscle car lot here and wrap things up for the day. I do appreciate y'all watching. It's a very nice truck. Nothing wrong with it. Runs, it drives good. If you need something reliable, here it is. Definitely check out maplemotors.com. Close to 100 detailed pictures. You can get financed on there. We can also transport this. I mean, we transport cars out every single day. We normally do old classic muscle cars. This one kind of stands out a little bit, but it is for sale at Maple Motors. So we're gonna put it on this channel. I do appreciate y'all watching. You want to see more muscle car videos? They'll be popping up all over your screen. Should be about right now. Y'all have a good one. Thanks, guys.